So we are now entering into St. George's town. Well, not really, right? This is a carronage. Local fire station. This is the beautiful site that when the cruise ships come in, this is what they usually see from afar. The views are to die for. Yeah, they, did, they did the thing on it, the the test on it to, to see if they condemn it. Mm -hmm. And they say, no, they don't need to condemn it. It's steady, right? Because mm -hmm. they don't build architecture like they did yeah. back then. So we are going through the tunnel. And uh, I used to walk under here as a child. And even as an adult, I'll still walk under I don't here. I like to walk under like to drive. I know. Yeah, yeah, I never used to like to drive underneath it. I mean, to walk underneath it neither. I don't like to walk Wow, I don't think here. this building was here the last time I was here. Yes, it was. Was it really? But this is a new cruise ship terminal, right? Eh? And yeah. you're saying the cruise ship don't go over there again. We should come here. Okay, so I'm in St. George's. I'm with my daughter, Kayla. We actually just left the bank. I went to go deposit some money because I do keep a bank account here in Grenada for when I retire. But um, I have to go over to another bank because they weren't able to do the transaction here because it was, like a per it was a conversion and a pro and a buy over and all that stuff. So anyway, I'm out here, I'm in the wind. My undergarments are being exposed. The wind is like trying to blow my dress up. This is just too much going on here. Uh, so let's go ahead and go over to the other bank. Why don't you decide to wear this dress again? Why not? Come on, let's cross here. Why not? It would be windy regardless. KK, huh? it would be windy regardless. Kayla, but Kayla wouldn't mind telling you it's a very nice dress. Yeah. But, <sighs> Freaks. Um, so that over there, that area is the market. And as you can see, the beautiful scenery and architecture. Come on, KK. Hello. Hi, how are you? So we finally finished with the bank. It took a little while because I had to reactivate my account. So now we're just going to walk around town in St. George's just to see what's going on. I'm actually going to try to go to the local hospital and see if they'll let me in. But y'all know with COVID and everything, that might not be a possibility. You know that place here? Try. So it started raining. <laughs> we don't have an umbrella. We need to buy one. Yeah. That's the police officer giving signal to the traffic. Okay. KK, how do you feel about the rain? <laughs> That's island living. So we are at the top of Market Hill, and what I'm doing is I'm bringing Kayla. I'm taking her to where I went to, I guess the, the equivalent, taking her to where I went to elementary school, or the equivalent of elementary school here in, the, in Grenada. And it is actually up this way. So you see that place up there, that's the cathedral. And my school was actually located below the cathedral. So we're gonna go take a visit. But first, we gotta stop and get something to drink. Kayla, come on. I can't take pictures here. I used to go to school here, that's why. I used to go to school here. So I'm just coming to relive memories. No, St. Mary's. <laughs> I 
Hello. So this is my old school yard. And of course, everything is boarded off. This school was called St. Mary's and we used to play here in the yard all the time. All up over here. Yep. And this is the view that we had from the schoolyard. Look how amazing this view was. Beautiful. Kayla, can you take some pictures of here? Old school yard. That was a tour of my elementary school, and currently we are at the foot of the cathedral. The school is underneath the cathedral. I forget what's the name of this cathedral. It's like St. George's Roman Catholic Cathedral or something like that. I would like to go inside because it's very beautiful, but there is mass going on, and we are not dressed appropriately to go to church. Sorry for all the noise. We're not dressed appropriately. Like, Grenada is a very conservative country and a very modest country. So my dress is probably too short and it's blown all over the place. But let me try to give you guys a sneak peek of what the inside of the cathedral looks like. Hold on. So that is what it looks like. It's very beautiful. A lot of stained glass windows. It's pretty empty, it's like a midday mass or something that's going on. So we are now gonna head down in the midst of all of the action down the hill back into town. I keep having to hold my skirt, my yeah. dress, because my dress keeps blowing. But anyway, right now we are walking down Market Hill, kind of a steep hill. I used to walk this hill all the time as a child when I was going home from school. And walking up, thank God we're not walking up because it is a freaking headache. The views are amazing as you can see. Would you say Kayla? Amazing, amazing views. There's not much here. Huh? Okay, walking through here. Yeah. All right, so we're still around town, just kind of taking in the scenery. Right now, we're gonna we're gonna go to one of our favorite bakeries when we come to Grenada. Like we have to have to come here. And if you come to Grenada, you definitely want to visit because the pastries are amazing. And I'm talking about this place. Traditions. Let's head in. It's usually pretty cold. Cool. Come on, Stuart. Come on, Stuart. Thank you. Where's the line start? The line starts like that there. Is this the line? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Excuse me. Is this the line? Really? This the line start right here? Okay. So, as you guys can see, the line is pretty long. You can see the line is very long because that's how we demand the food. I'm not here for the food, I'm here simply for the pastries. So, here are the pastries, and they are looking delicious. I can eat like everything in this pastry box. Okay, so we're still in St. George's. I actually wanted to go to the local hospital and kind of show you guys around. I haven't been there in years, but um, I just ran into a nurse that was coming off shift. She actually works seven to one. I think that's what she told me, and I guess that's their shift. It's like seven to one, one to six. Um, she works in the neonat neonatal intensive care unit, so she's definitely a NICU nurse taking care of all the small babies. I asked her a few questions, and I'll um, kind of discuss that later. The visiting hours though for the hospital is from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. So it's too early for me to go up there. And let me just show you the reason why I'm not really pressed to head up there because it is a long walk. So as you can see, the sign right there says the general hospital. And I literally would have to climb all of these stairs. And look, it goes all the way up, all the way up to the top. And essentially that is where the local hospital is. 
But in the meanwhile, since I'm not going to do that, we're going to walk through the Sendal Tunnel to get to the other side of St. George's. So this is the walk through the tunnel when no cars are coming. It's pretty much, it's just like a one-way tunnel. So whenever there's no cars coming, you don't really have to be careful. You just walk right through. So we made it out the tunnel and we're on the other side of town. We're probably gonna run into the museum really quickly. There's a Grenadian museum that I went to the last time I was here. I hope that it's still open. So let's see. I'm gonna turn the camera around. Kind of show you all. Historically, Grenada has a lot of Spanish, French, and British influence. Like if you look at this one building right here, it very much so resembles architecture that you would find in New Orleans. And I'm thinking it's because of the French influence that the island had at one point. And this is the building for the National Library, but I think, not, not for the library, for the museum, but it looks like the museum is closed actually. A little history here. So we are now on what you call the carronage. And this is pretty much where all the boats are docked. It's the other side of St. George's town, whatever you want to call it. Just showing you all the beauty of Grenada. It's like so easy to see water all around the island. And I think it's that's what makes Grenada amazing. It's like you're always encountering water at some point. So it's raining, so we kind of stopped and took shelter under some random storefront. And that is what Grenadian people do whenever it's raining. You kind of just stop, shelter, and when the rain stops, you go about your business all over again. Let me give you just a view of where we are. I think the rain has held up. What we're going to do is continue walking and get on the bus that's going to take us back to where we were. So we walked from all the way over there. We, we're, we basically made a circle. And there goes the cathedral that we were at earlier. Up on the hill, you see the orange roof up there? That's where we were at. Right there, that's the cathedral. We were, that's where I went to school, underneath where I showed you all earlier. It was right up there. So we're gonna walk maybe another half a mile and then jump on a bus and head home. And that is the fire station. It's been here forever. The next time I come to Grenada, I think this is where the Osprey leaves from. And that is the ferry that goes to Karakul because Grenada is a tri-state island. So there's two other islands that we, that's part of Grenada that I'll have to visit on the next trip. How much are they at peace? $5. $5. We're pretty much done walking. We're, we've made it to the bus stop. You saw that we bought roast corn, a must-have when you come to Grenada or any island in the Caribbean. And we are now looking for a bus to head home. So, and then we'll probably end up at the beach later once we're home. So we got off the bus down the road and now I am walking up the hill to the house. Let me tell you something, these hills in Grenada are no joke. Be prepared when you come to Grenada, to be re ready to climb some hill, okay? Let me show you guys. See, that's down the road. Almost to the top. My daughter beat me there, see, she's at the gate. Whew, Lord, it ain't easy going up these hills, dear father. <laughs> 